Welcome to CVOD Enterprises. Today's video will cover the unboxing and mounting of the DZ Poly VOL box. These storage and security boxes will, will be mounted on the inside of our bed of the F350 shop truck. Hope you enjoy the video. My name is Cam. Welcome to CVOD Enterprises. Today we'll be doing an unboxing and installation video for y'all on these Poly VOL boxes for our 2008 F350 that we used just for getting stuff for the shop here. Um, so why we got these boxes is we wanted to still maintain um, our bed length and our width, which is uh, we have an eight foot lawn bed. And then we also want to keep that four foot wide uh, usability still. So we got these because these will go behind the wheel wells and sit flush against the side. Still giving us that four foot width there. Um, another reason why we got these is because they are locking. So we will get a tunnel cover on the truck at some point in time, but as of now, we don't, so we just want to make sure that we have that security with us while we use these products in there. And another cool feature about these boxes is, so they seem kind of far in the bed, so you can get them from the side, but you also have a pivoting point on them so you can pull them out um, by the tailgate of the truck and then access them from there. All right, now we're going to be taking a look inside these boxes. Um, so some of the things I will note before I do get into them is this is how we receive these products um, directly from FedEx. Uh, they give us a big hole right here. The top of this one is all already all torn and taped back together. And then looking at this one, uh, we didn't open it just yet, but there's pretty much no tape holding this all together. So hopefully we got all the right parts and pieces inside these that we need to do to get the insulation done today. But with further ado, let's get into them, see what they are. So first off, you probably get the parts box, and then you actually get the whole assembly unit itself. All right, so here is the first unit right here. So what's pretty cool about this is, if you're wondering if the, you have to buy like a left and right side one, you don't. They allow you to move the hinge from either side so you can make it however you want. But if you want, really want two left ones, you can go for that. Um, so looking at the unit so far, it looks pretty good constructed. It is pretty firm. I don't think they'll crush that easily. Looking at the lid right here, it is pretty cool because you do get a foam gasket, so it will keep a lot of that moisture out that you do pick up when you're just driving down the road without a tunnel cover on. Um, but quality-wise, they look pretty good. Nothing's too beat up on them just yet. And I've, I'm going to presume all the parts are here for them. Uh, we do have the keys on top, so that's good to know. So in this box, you're going to get the mounting hardware. You're going to get these two brackets right here. This is going to hold it to the bed of the truck. And then this is going to be your fastener kit, which is going to secure the truck bed to the frames, to the plastic bit. And then you also do get a lovely set of instructions that was right here in the bottom from the company. Pretty nicely noted. Um, we'll take a further look at these when we actually do the installation of them. But for now, we'll take a look at the other ones. See two brackets and mount the hardware and instructions for it. So let's look at all here. So without further ado, we'll get over to the installation part. We're back again. We're going to be doing the installation part um, for these toolboxes that go in the bed of your truck. Uh, it should be pretty simple. I, I did a quick look at the instructions. It's nothing too bad. Uh, they did note you will need some simple tools to do the job. Um, so the first one we're going to need, and this is just for my case, is a 10 millimeter uh, box wrench. And this is just for the tie downs that we have in the corner. We have to remove those to make them fit properly. Um, but to install the actual boxes, if you don't have tie downs or if you have hidden ones, which is kind of nice, uh, you just need a seven, two 7 16 and they say a box wrench is preferable. And then on top of that, a ratchet with a 7 16 six point socket is a pretty good way to go for it. And that is just so you can tighten both bolts on the side to get clamped down. There are two mounting methods for this. One is you could use the metal screws that they do provide and just go right into the bed of the truck with those. Personally, I don't really like those, so we're not going to use those. We're going to use um, a bolt with two washers on each side so you get more surface area. And then on top of that, you will need a quarter inch drill bit uh, just to drill the pilot hole so you can put the bolts through. So it should be pretty easy. All right, so the first thing they say to do is put the lid on. And with these, you gotta kind of be careful 
because there is a hole on one side, but not on the other. And this is so you can get the rod through. And you also gotta make sure that it's gonna open the right way. And for our application for this truck, we're gonna have them so that they open inwards and not outwards. Just so it's a little bit easier to get into it, such as that. So once you get that in there, they do provide you with a little plastic plug to plug this hole up so it looks pretty nice. We're just gonna push that in. Hopefully, there, just like that. All right. So that's one done. Now we're just going to do the other side. And then, as we can see, it opens up inwards how we want. So that's pretty good. All right, so next we're going to install the mounting brackets for the actual unit itself. And for that, we're going to use the mounting brackets they provided. Um, they do say that there is a left and a right one, but you can't really tell unless you hold it up uh, for your application and there is different ways to mount it and whatnot. So you just have to be careful of how you mount these. Sharpie just to mark a good place for it. So then comes the scary but fun part. You do have to drill holes. Um, so, talking about drills real quick. Um, this is an old rigid. It's a fifth, fourth gen. It's brushed. It'll do the job. It's on a nine amp hour battery. Um, does a really good work, honestly, but I do have a newer Octane version, which I do prefer a little bit more. Has a little bit, well, a lot more torque, 1300 inch pounds, uh, two speed, and also has a light on the truck so you can see what you're working on, which is pretty nice. those holes so we're just going to set that bracket up real quick to make sure that's in line with the other holes just to make sure that we're not going to have any alignment problems in the future so now we're going to open up their hardware bag that they sent so we're going to be using a small bag of guys right here um, they're an inch long, 7 16 is the head size on them. And then we're also going to be taking out the washers of this bag and the bolts as well. And these are what we're going to be using to secure the bracket to the actual bed itself. And then taking a look at your other option for mounting. Here is the other screw that they send. This is a self-tapping metal one. Well, it's not self-tapping, but um, the thread pitch is a little bit more aggressive on this and not as fine as the other ones. So the clamping force will be a little bit less with this guy. So that's why we're going to be going with um, these instead.
So just like that, the box is installed on the truck, closes just fine, opens just fine. And we also got the key right here, locks it, that's good to go. Then we're just going to skip to the other side real quick and get all that done. Uh, same process though, other side. So to sum up this insulation, um, it's a really easy job, anyone can really do it. You just need some basic hand tools and you can get the job done. Uh, but one thing I did notice is like uh, when it is locked, uh, both sides pretty easily on it. Uh, the hinge is kind of good to have facing inwards just because it does add that additional strength to the back. Um, the bracket system is a little loose but not too bad so just know if you're really planning to put anything really uh, valuable in here. I probably would stray away from that just because these are pretty good quality, but they're only made of plastic and it's pretty easy to rip screws out of plastic and whatnot. But other than that, thank you for joining me today in this installation and box opening video. Um, please like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any comments or tips for us, put them down below in the comment and we'll make sure to get back to you on those. Thank you very much and have a good day.